Okay, we also need to review um, some symbols, and these may, you know, some of them you may recognize very quickly. There may be some of you that don't know some of these, so we absolutely need to go over them. Our first symbol here is uh, this one with our two parallel lines. This is our equals and you will see it of course in many different equations but a good example would be something like 2 equals 2 so you have to know not only the symbol but also the word that goes along with it it's going to be really important as we start working word problems and more um, you know application type things as we go up higher and higher in our mathematics this symbol is an equals with a line through it and you know anytime you have a line through something it means not you know like um, um you know no smoking you have a usually a, a sign that has a picture of a little cigarette and there'll be a circle around it with a with a line through it anytime you see something like that that means not or no so this symbol means not equal so a good example of that would be to say something like this. 5 is not equal to 3. Now, some of these other symbols, oops, went too far. This symbol, we generally recognize it and we know that it is less than or greater than. It's, it's the, the word that's attached to it that usually we have the trouble with. Um, if we were to see something like, um, let's say, 2 and then this symbol and 5, we would understand that that means that 2 is smaller than 5. And most of us learn this symbol um, points to the smaller number or a lot of you I have heard um, in the past things like the alligator eats the bigger number so you worry more about uh, where the numbers are their placement rather than the actual name of the symbol now we're really having to pay attention to the name of the symbol so when you see this you need to know that that means less than and if you see the word less than, you need to know that that's this symbol. Now the word is going to be very, very important. And it does mean that something is smaller than something else. Now, what if we had that same symbol, but it had a line underneath it? This means less than or, uh, oops, less than or equal to. So um, we could say 2 is less than or equal to 5. That's a true statement because 2 is smaller than 5. We could also say something like this. 5 is less than or equal to 5. That is a true statement. Now 5 is not less than 5. That's not true. But it is equal to. And as long as you have this symbol um, where they're both together, that means that only one of them has to be true in order for the entire thing to be true. We're going to work some examples in a minute that will help um, to make this a little bit clearer. Here we have this symbol, which again, we recognize it. We know that there means that it's an inequality, but the exact words we, we get confused on. So this one is greater than. And a good example of something like that would be to say 5 is greater than 2. So we want to make sure and associate the symbol with its proper vocab with its proper word. Now, what happens if we take that same symbol and put the line underneath it? Now that means greater than or equal to. And again, only one of them has to be true in order for the entire statement to be true. So for instance, 5 is greater than or equal to 2. This is true because it is greater than. But what if I had this? 2 is greater than or equal to 2. Again, that is a true statement because they are equal. And as long as they are either greater than or equal to, the entire statement is true. 